Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. It's Lauren here and I've got a special guest, my mom. She is gonna be tagging along today as we go to some local thrift stores. You guys really, really loved the last thrift store video that we did. So we decided why not? We're hitting the thrift stores, so let's go find some furniture. Here we are, thrift store number one. I'm taking you guys back to the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. Hmm, I see something over here. Might be a possibility. There's a pair of them. Looks like they're swivel rockers there. It's a match. So they've got them at $12.99 each. They're like a little bit dirty. Looks like they are from Nebraska Furniture Mart, Charles Schneider brand. Again, they're not bad. The thing I think that's sort of holding me back from getting them or just saying yes right away is the color. Um, I've been hanging on to some pink chair, a pink chair for a little while now. And this is kind of like a mauve pink color, wouldn't you say? So, I don't know. I think I'm gonna look around a little bit more and we'll come back and see. That one is a little wild one. That one too. Got some end tables. These would be really good as a starting piece. These are really nice. Doesn't have a price on it. I actually did a pair of these pre-YouTube days and it had a coffee table I went with it but these I believe are like solid wood if not they've got just veneer but they're like really solid and heavy well-made pieces again these would be really good for like a beginner set because they're small and there's not a lot of things that need to be done with them basically all of that you would do would be to clean them and to paint them whatever color. When I did them, I did like a farmhouse style. So I did white with brown on the top. Um, might see how much they are and maybe grab them. Usually you're not gonna get a huge ROI on end tables. So I probably won't pay more than five to $10 each. So we gotta see if they can get us a price. Yeah, these two little end tables here. So, uh, four ninety nine each. Okay, yeah, I'll take them. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Guess what, guys? Tuesday is senior day, 20% off, 55 and up. Guess who's 55 and up? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. We got, oh gosh, it's really windy. We got those guys loaded up. We are on the way to the next stop. Goodwill. Again, this is just one of many Goodwills that we've got that are near to us. Sorry about the camera settings. 
I, you know, I'm not the best, but I'm trying for you guys. So this is the furniture section of this Goodwill. Got some interesting pieces here. It's like some, some stone inlays. Kind of cool, but I don't really know how I would uh, upcycle that at all. It does have a matching coffee table as well. Just remember, I don't typically do end tables, coffee tables, things like that. I know I just bought a pair of end tables, um, but I think that the reason I really try to stay away from those is because there's not a huge ROI on those types of things, which means return on investment. So. If you're gonna be paying for these items, you wanna think about how well that they'll sell when you're finished with them. And I know that I could probably get about 80 to $100 out of those end tables. So I've always gotta think about, is that worth my time um, of redoing those? Like I said, those other ones I just bought are in great shape, so it's not gonna take me long to redo. I also sometimes like to do smaller projects that don't take as long. But when I'm in a Goodwill or a thrift store that has, you know, not too much and all I've got is end tables then I'm generally going to pass on those. So we've got this dresser here and keep in mind when you're at thrift stores you know drawers might be in the wrong positions. <laughs> you might have to mess with that later if you end up getting them. Uh, these handles are pretty outdated. The drawers are definitely not in the best shape and you guys know me I try to really stay away from dressers or anything with drawers that are too finicky to fix or to slide in and out really nicely because I know if I was buying a piece of furniture I would want that to be perfect so I really try to find pieces that are perfect this one It's a nice piece. The drawers are not too bad, but definitely no, um, there's no slides in there for it to stay even. So it is gonna kind of wobble a bit. Um, not horrible, but for $40 and a missing knob, we're gonna say no. There's also this desk here. It's got a laminate top. So I'll show you real quick. Um, I can tell that this is definitely not a solid wood piece because of the edging right here. Well, for one, it's actually gouged out. It's been cracked and broken. But two, you can just see right here that layer of veneer but it's a laminate veneer right here um it's very very thick and then the other way i can tell that it's laminate is because it's very shiny as well you can see that it's reflecting off the top a lot so that's that just means that it's laminate instead of a solid wood piece at one point in time, desks were super good, but right now, I don't really sell them. All right, well, thrift store number two, which was Goodwill, was a bust, uh, but we're headed to some more. Sorry, I meant to say it was a bust for furniture. Well, mom, she got some little cups for her dressing. She wanted me to tell you guys, so now we're on to the next. Thrift store number three, we are at Thrift America Thrift Store. Furniture this way. Mom says we need to figure out something to do with these big, big armoires. So if you got any ideas, let us know down in the comments. Big hutches all the time here. A dresser. So for this dresser, hmm, I think just the style is not my style. I'm just meaning like all of the curvinesses of the 
um, sides of it and stuff like that, and just just not my cup of tea. Talking about this right here. So not really something that can be changed, um, but it's a pretty decent dresser for 50 bucks. Definitely has potential if it's a, something that you like. Little corner desk. Do you know what material this is? Laminate. Laminate on top, more wood on bottom. But I could tell right away because it's so shiny. Tons of desks here today. And they're all made of particle board or plywood, whatever you want to call it. I know they're not the same thing, but similar things. Definitely don't want any of these desks. Oh, what's this? That's pretty. So let's see if they got that matching one. That's a not a bad chair. Again, the color. Ah, I just don't know about it. All right, well, back to the beginning. <laughs> There's only one green chair. So I got one orange chair like this the other day. I haven't listed it yet. Got it for 25. This one says 30. I don't know, 30. It's got some pretty in there crusty stains. I love the color. I think the color would sell really well, actually. Hmm. The caning is in basically perfect condition. The color is just so, so in right now. Mom says, get it. But I just don't know. I guess we'll just take a risk. All right, we'll get it. I think I could probably go ahead and sell it for hmm, 100, at least 100. Probably try 125, but it's 30. And then I'll also come down here and either do some furniture polish or just some type, somehow clean up the legs a little bit. So stay tuned for some of those videos for the chairs that I've been collecting again. Thank you. So we're thinking about this one. And yes. this is the right tag, correct? No, it's $14.99. Oh. oh, okay. That's not our tag. No, I we didn't think, think so. I yeah. was she like, said, we buy okay. stuff from leftovers from Yeah, so. and she right. said, I've never seen this kind of yeah. tag before. Yeah, $14.99. Okay. Okay. All right, sweet, yeah. Okay. Perfect, then we'll, we'll take, take it, it then. Okay, um, if you're gonna take it with you, all we gotta do is tell Krista I won't even write a tag. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take it. $14.99. Well, as you heard, we were gonna try to negotiate and then we just decided to see if that was the correct tag because I had never seen that type of tag at this place before. Usually they've got the, you know, regular tan ones. Well, it turns out they buy some furniture left over from estate sales and that's what this tag was. It was marked at 30 at the estate sale but we just got it for $14.99. So score there. I definitely feel more confident with the $15 investment versus the $30 investment. So I'm gonna get this loaded up and then we're gonna head on to the next store. Next stop, Thrift World. One of the many Thrift Worlds in Omaha. This one's the closest to our house. So I come here a lot. And by the way, I lost count of thrift stores. Sold. Old plastic table. These white chairs are still 
here. Remember those from the last video, I think. They're still here. Rocking chair, table, nightstand. This one's a bust already. I've <laughs> got like some sewing tables over there and yeah, this one, this one's been pretty dry for furniture lately, I think. We've got large wheelchairs and those white leather chairs. <laughs> So on to the next. Well, I just wanna pop on real quick and say that we're still going thrifting, but just remember if you don't find things at every single thrift store, it's okay. I know it stinks and it's fun when you do find things, but you do not wanna settle. I talked a lot about that in the last thrifting video, but it is seriously the truth. I'm not just gonna go in buying a bunch of furniture because I just wanna buy things. I just need to make sure that I'm buying the things that I know in the end will be profitable and there'll be pieces that other people will want. So let's hit the road again. All right, we're at the next thrift world. This one, see I told you there was more. Uh, this one's just a little farther away from my house, so we don't really make it out here too often. Got some wingback chairs. So this is a good time to talk about these. Um, wingbacks, I personally have never bought any wing back chairs however some of you guys have actually reached out to me and said lauren why don't you buy these wing back chairs they sell still and you know you guys are mostly talking about the velvet ones um these are not velvet they're a different type of material so i'm gonna pass on them but they're ten dollars if you're looking for just a quick flip that all you've got to do is clean up maybe try wing back chairs you know, you could probably for sure get more than $10 out of them. So at least you'd be making your money back plus a little bit more. Um, might be worth a shot for you if that's what you're interested in. There's a little TV stand there. Uh, I think that might be a misprint. I sure hope that's a misprint. $149. I think that's a misprint. <laughs> Mom's like, what? <laughs> she didn't even want to touch it after she saw it was 150 bucks. <laughs> that's funny. This guy right here is $20. It's not too bad. Mid-century style for sure. Uh, I have one like very similar to this one. If not, uh, it's not identical, but very close. There's some chipping here in the veneer. It's an easy fix if you just paint it. All the hardware is very mismatched, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. I mean, drawers are not horrible definitely aren't on a track just because they pull out awkwardly I'm gonna pass on it but could be a good potential flip you can definitely tell all the finish here is coming off so on something like that if you were gonna get this dresser all you would really need to do is to take your sander and sand this down. You could get it even down to the raw wood and then you would use that shellac based primer to block in the stain. Unless you wanted to keep the top a stain color, you could also stain it, you could bleach it. I just wanna give you a little bit of ideas of some things that I might do to it. So although it has this failing finish, don't let that scare you away because 
it could be fixable. This is not laminate. It's a bit shiny, but it's not laminate. I can just tell because the finish in the, the wood top is right there. So this would be a good one, but not for me because I have like three of these exact same dressers basically. Another $100 item. Yeah, it's like a buffet, I think. But then it's got that, so it's just like a nicer. So we found these couple dressers here. French Provincial, super nice, high quality, but sold. Darn. All right, well, thrift store number, well, I don't know, I lost count again, but five or six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, something like that. I lost count. It's another bust. Um, well, we've got one or two more up our sleeve. All right, we are at another Thrift America. And then we've got one more stop, maybe two more stops. And we'll be finished up, but let's go see what they've got. Lots of chairs. That's a cool coffee table back there, actually. It's like mid-century for sure. I'll have to go around and see how much it is. That might match it. Does it match it? No, it doesn't match it. Close, but no. Oh, another, another big armoire. Oh, that's so cute. Little file cabinets. Another desk. I just never get the best luck with desks, so pass. There's tons of chairs, 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 chairs. But not the right chairs. Crib. Controller. Oh, it goes all the way through. It's a pretty cool coffee table. I feel like it does match that one over there. But for $40, that's a bit much. nice but that's too big an investment for how much probably would sell for maybe maybe a hundred maybe but I don't think so looks like somebody's old craft table with a whole bunch of paint on it looks like I don't really need to paint that I've decided for myself that I will not be buying any more tables and chairs. The only way I'm gonna be doing tables and chairs is for custom work. And the reason is just because it's so, so much work um, to do. And then people usually don't wanna pay for the end result if you're listing on Marketplace or something. But I've found that if people really love their own table and chairs already, then they'll maybe want it redone and they'll be willing to pay. So just so you know, that's my decision and you guys, if you like doing tables and chairs, more power to you. I'll leave them here at the thrift store for you. But this one is another bust. All right guys, we are at our last stop. It is the final Goodwill that is right by my house. So I, we were told by another lady at the other Goodwill that we went to that this one was putting out a whole bunch of furniture. So let's cross our fingers that she was telling the truth and then let's cross our fingers that it's furniture that I wanna buy. It's getting a little chilly out here. Some pretty nice end tables. A 
$100. Yeah, no. That is way too expensive. Those two end tables are $100 each. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. <laughs> $100. $100. There's a dresser back here. It's not horrible, but the definitely is got like a, I don't even know what material, like a formica material almost on the top there. And I just don't really want to deal with that. It's It's got some texture to it and that's not going to be able to go away. So I guess we are at another Goodwill with nothing or really expensive things. And I know you guys always tell me that my Goodwill prices are pretty good, but as you can see, they're getting a little higher over there. Um, it must be that brand uh, and they just are gonna try to get as much money as I can out of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this thrifting video. It was fun to have mom along with us. And I plan to kind of start doing these a little bit more often as long as you guys enjoy them. So hit that like button, get subscribed down below for more thrifting videos, as well as more furniture flipping videos, because you guys know that that's the reason you're here. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one and we'll see you on the flip side.